shocking find with Manjaro weight loss. Why so many are bailing on Manjaro and switching over to Manjaro Compound? Hi friends, I'm Elizabeth, Countess of Shopping, and on today's episode, we're gonna dive in. I've, I've been on Manjaro for the last 15 months. I've lost over 84, 85 pounds with Manjaro, and we're gonna be discussing the massive bailing that I'm seeing of people switching off of Manjaro and switching lanes over to um, Manjaro Compound and why that is. Why, uh, why, from my perspective, and again, I'm not a healthcare provider, I'm simply somebody who's lost 84 pounds, was one of the early adopters, and this is my experience, strength, and hope, and hopefully to help encourage you, and hopefully to help educate from my perspective, and you take what you want and leave the rest and talk to your healthcare provider about this. But this is me with my before and after, and truly, the problem has been, Manjaro uh, has been so popular, unprecedented with the Manjaro shortage, We've not seen anything like this, friends, in our lifetimes. Um, and it's not the rich Hollywood people stealing your medication. That's a great sound bit, doesn't it? It makes it for a villain. And truly stories, look at Disney fairy tales, have villains in them. That makes a great villain. But that's not really accurate as to what's happening in the marketplace right now. What's happening is people are having unprecedented results with Manjaro and with ZetBound too. My ZetBound folks, don't worry, I haven't forgotten you. Manjaro is the same thing as ZetBound, both by the same maker of Eli Lilly, except have different FDA approvals. Manjaro is FDA approved for type two diabetics. ZetBound is FDA approved for chronic obesity management. Both have the same dosages, both have the same pens. The pens are what's causing part of this shortage issue for us. So the problem has been of why this has been a shocking find. For me, it's been very shocking. I've been on YouTube, I have over 200 plus videos. You can go back to the very beginning when I was on my Manjaro, 2.5 uh, milligrams for the first month and as I've titrated up these doses, I poo-pooed compounds. I did not like compounds. My tune has since changed because of the massive shortage that's happening, unprecedented numbers of people having tremendous success, changing lives, saving lives. Um, I know for sure my life has foreverly been impacted and, and to be honest, when I get really woo-woo about it, but it's true for generations to come. Uh, I, I do believe the, the, the result of what's, what's happened and the ripple effect and the butterfly effect, so to speak, with Manjaro. So number one, the problem is, and we're gonna kind of walk through with these shocking finds of why there's been this exodus that I'm seeing from my bird's eye view. I, I'm blessed and I'll link down below. I've got a ton of free resources for you. One is a free encouragement group for Manjaro weight loss folks, Zepbound weight loss folks, Wegovi weight loss folks. All are welcome at that table as long as you're kind, nice, and fun. If you're not kind and nice and fun, do not apply to be in my group. It's totally free though and down in the description link below, click that dot 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 more button. In there, people are switching because they can't get their medication. What happens when we go off GLP-1s? Well, studies tell us that we gain the weight back. In fact, 70% of people do gain the weight back once they stop taking a GLP-1 medication. 30% don't, but 70% do. And so keeping that in mind, for me, and I'll use my I statements again so you can talk to your own healthcare provider because I am not a healthcare provider, nor do I pretend to play one on the internet. This will spark conversations for you and your own healthcare provider who has your medical conditions and medical background on there is... Going through these with the FDA shortage, it's making these massive, um, the shortage, it's making people, I have to make the decision, do I want to go off the medication or would I rather risk taking a compound? Because I've done a ton of videos in the 200 plus free videos on how do you work within the shortage? How do you legally do that? How, what are the tips, techniques, and tricks that have worked really well for me? Like calling my pharmacy, which is crazy by the way that we're using phones to call as opposed to like an app or a system like that, but literally calling because the shortage has gotten that. It's like the COVID toilet paper of like, we're down to those scenarios now too. And not just for Manjaro, but now also for ZetBound as well. So really planning in advance. I've talked about having auto reminders set up on your computer and all these things. And those are great and they do work. And I had a Countess in my free encouragement group tell me last night, Countess, I use your tips and t techniques and it worked. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I was so happy she had another box full, another four pens, four pens for a 28 day supply. But the problem with that is that Mandrara is gonna be on the FDA shortage list for quite some time. At the last Eli Lilly sh uh, shareholders call, they had said that the, the, the stock, and you can, you can see that people are like, what's your source? Go, go to the Eli Lilly website and see the call notes on it and you can read about it. Talked in there though about how the shortage is going to continue, that demand is going to be higher than supply. I take that and interpret that to mean that the shortage is going to go on for the rest of the year. That's how I interpret that. 
Correct me if I'm wrong. I always want factually accurate information here at Countess of Shopping Channel. But so that's our problem. So with that, you're forced, I'm forced, and I will be forced later this week. I've gone from Manjaro to Zep bound um, because I'm still technically, my BMI is still technically high, even though I've lost 85 pounds, 84, 85 pounds. To go from Manjaro to Zep bound, now to a compound. Because I don't want to stop taking. I don't want to be without. I don't want to lengthen out. And some people are telling me that their healthcare provider has told them to go to every 10 days with the pens. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But this is take what you want and leave the rest. So, but number two of the points was I used to poo poo compounds because I was scared. Because rightfully so, there's a lot of scammers out there, unscrupulous people who are scamming people left, right, and sideways. Well, I work with Joint Fridays. I've worked with them for months now. They prescribe both brand names, meaning Majaro, we go the Zepbound, and compounds. And with those compounds, they get shipped directly to me. Whereas with brand names, I get the prescription and I go to my local pharmacy to go fight to see if I can get my medication. But with compounds, they work with reputable third-party independent compound pharmacies. With Join Fridays, you can use, it's linked down in the description link below, but the discount code QUEEN. And so switching over, because now I'm in their system, to get in their system, they're running at a lag, a one to two week lag to get an appointment, just FYI. I'm filming this in April, 2024, just FYI. If you're watching this later on, maybe that will change. Um, but some of our group members are like, oh, I got one for tomorrow. So it kind of depends. But there is running, because so many people are, are switching. Like, they're making appointments, because once you're in, then you have, you're under that healthcare provider umbrella, which is why it's really important to find a healthcare provider you trust that you're gonna be with for a while. I plan to be on GLP-1 medications the rest of my life. And so I know that's not for everybody, that's my choice, but some people are like, I'm just gonna get on it for a little while and I'll get off, but you do you. And so with that, I had been very scared because of finding reputable third-party independently tested compound pharmacies. Joint Fridays has those. They're the biggest nationwide ones. In fact, if you're in California, there's only a few um, telehealth providers and compound ones that will, will service California. Joint Fridays is one for our California friends. Woo! And so if you're stressed, Hello, my blood pressure goes up every time. Later this week, I have to go fight and it takes hours. One week, it took me 15 hours. 15 hours, that is a part-time job. I know my hourly rate of how much money that cost me having to go drive around this, that, and the calling. And it was, it's stressful. And I'm tired of after 15 plus months of being stressed out over this, I can't take it anymore. So I am willing to go to the compound route because I trust Join Fridays. You do your own due diligence. You do your own due diligence, but if you choose to go with them, use the discount code QUEEN. I was scared, but now I'm not scared anymore. I'm like, bring it. I'd rather have it shipped to me. I'd rather have it sent to me. The difference is Manjaro and ZepBound have pens, whereas with compound pharmacies, you, have, you buy a needle, and then you draw out your own um, medication with that. Um, and it gets sent to you. It gets sent to you. So um, number three, because... Um, and this is one of the things you need to keep in mind too, is because a medication is on the FDA shortage list, we can get compounds. So Manjaro is on the FDA shortage list. I'm gonna sneeze, woo! <clears throat> Excuse me, there's gonna be three. Sorry guys, there's usually thrice of my sneezes. Um, maybe not, Ooh. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm allergic to the shortage. There's a third one coming. When a medication is on an FDA shortage list, like Manjaro and Zepbound, you can prescribe, you can get compounds. When a medication is not on the FDA shortage list, you should not be getting compounds. If a compound pharmacy is giving out medications when a medication is not on the FDA shortage list, you should not be, that's not reputable. Keep that in mind. See what happens over the next six months, the next year. You need to be looking and monitoring. Now, some people will ask about compounds, the difference between a terazepatide and a semi-glutide. Semi-glutide would be under the umbrella, that's the active ingredient in um, Ozempic and um, Wegovy. That's Those are the same things, like Manjaro and Zepbound, they're the same things. Ozempic is FDA approved for type two diabetics and Wegovy is uh, FDA approved for chronic obesity management. Manjaro and Zepbound, their maker is Eli Lilly, the maker of Ozempic and um, Wegovy is Novo Nordisk. Eli Lilly makes Zepbound and Manjaro. And they are terazepatide. Slightly higher data. Slightly higher data from Zepbound, or excuse me, semi-glutide is less data than terazepatide. Terazepatide, slightly better data, meaning better results. Slightly though, just slightly. Both are GLP-1 medications, slightly higher. 
So something to think about in terms of compounds, I will be going the terazepatide compound route. I know many of you have been going semi-glutide route. Now, Joint Fridays has semi-glutides are less expensive. It's self-pay too, by the way, for compounds, just to keep that, uh, you self-pay for that. For brand names, Joint Fridays does take, um, uh, they have an insurance concierge. So if you can get it through your insurance, you get the prescription, then you can go fill it at your local pharmacy. Um, for a brand, or, or I think they even, if you have mail order within your insurance, I think it could work that way too. Don't check with them. You can check with them on that. But on their website, they have all the compound pricing because with each different dose, there's going to be, we've talked about different doses here. Um, and it's going to be the difference between Manjaro and Zepbound are in milligrams. Compounds are in milliliters, MLs. Dramatically difference in doses. One of our group members, it literally made my butt cheeks clench. I was so nervous for her. She was confusing milligrams with milliliters. Another one of our group members did and had to go to the emergency room. She, she over-medicated herself badly. So know the difference, like milligrams is different than milliliters if you're getting the compound, just FYI. It's not the same doses. Um, not the same doses at all. Um, but so having this, uh, keeping that in mind, a semi-glutide difference between terazepatide. If you're on Wegovy, that is, that's semi-glutide. Terazepatide, Manjaro, um, that's the active ingredient in Manjaro and um, Zepbound. You can tell I have a cold, so I'm like, meh, meh, squirrel. I'm trying to <laughs> stay with the program here. So the shocking find with these is how many people are switching over. Now, the cool part about Join Fridays is I can pivot. And during a shortage, you want to know what you can, you need to do? In my humble opinion, pivot. Once this shortage is absolved, I will be going back to brand names. I'll be going back to brand names. I hope at some point my insurance will cover it. Not there yet. Formularities with insurance are, are changing. But I, I hope that in the future that that will be covered by my insurance company. So as we go through and talk about <coughs> excuse me, compounds for Zepbound and compounds for Manjaro and compounds for Wegovy and Ozempic, it's important to it's important to kind of it's important to talk through these different things for my chronic obesity management friends, right? Um, and so for my type two diabetics, Joint Fridays may not be the best choice for you. Um, again, talk to the, that's everyone's conditions are different, of course. Um, but I have found it very helpful that financially, also this is another route that people are taking with compounds because the brand names we're paying people are paying anywhere between five hundred to a thousand dollars a month for a four week supply. We get one pen each week. There's four weeks in a box. So 28 days total. Paying anywhere between that 500. Some people are getting it for 25 bucks through their insurance. So 25 bucks, uh, a lot of people are not though. A lot of insurance companies, it was something like, and I don't have my source to cite. You guys know I always cite my sources. I don't have my source to cite, so fact check me. But it had been something like last year, 30, 60% uh, of insurances were having for Manjaro and Migovi and GLP-1 medications. And then now it's down to something like 30% approval. It was like a massive cut. So a lot of people don't have that $25 price point anymore. $500 to $1,000 a month. Whereas compounds, they can be like a hundred and I forget a hundred. I got You got to look at their pricings on their website. It's very clearly you, before you walk into it, you know, and you do pay a monthly, uh, a monthly membership free, but it's included a weekly calls with a dietitian who has her master's degree. Uh, use my discount code queen with them too. So this for me, I will be switching to that. And then once, the, once seemingly in my neck of the woods in my area here in rural Virginia, that the shortage is absolving, because I'm going to be checking in with my pharmacy. Once the shortage is absolving, I'll go back to brand names. But in the interim, for me, I don't want to be without my medication. I don't want to switch to every 10 days of taking my medication. I want to take my GLP-1 every week. Um, and with that, there'll be I'm going to be using a needle instead of a pen. So there's a learning curve with that. A, a lot of grace, kindness, love, and compassion as I kind of navigate that new route. I'll know later this week. Y'all, I'm still hoping and praying, though, that I can get my medication at my pharmacy, the brand name. So we'll see if that happens or not. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that may not happen. And so I have a plan. And for me, I don't know about you, but I'm a former Girl Scout, and so I like to plan. I like to have a plan. I like to have a plan. So that's my plan. Um, today, we do a couple things here at Countess of Shopping. One, I have a free Manjaro meal plan and Zepbound meal plan that I bought from a dietitian who has her master's degree in nutrition. Um, and dietitians are higher education than, a, say, a nutritionist. A nutritionist, you can get a certificate online. Me, a nutritionist, a dietitian, she's had her bachelor's degree, her master's degree, smart cookie. 
And so in that, I bought it for $500 for free. The count thought I was a nutball, but I'm like, I'm buying it so I own the licensing rights so I can give it away. And that's exactly what I've done. It's linked down on countessofshopping.com, my free blog for you of um, all things Manjaro and GLP-1 medications. Two over 200 free videos here for you on YouTube. My gift to you of like, take my experience, strength, and hope to hopefully help encourage. Um, that's my whole intention here is to be a source of encouragement and light and positivity. Um, that's my hope, at least, and intention. And then three, my free encouragement group, over 10,000 plus people in that group. It is a ironclad, high caliber, amazing group. Do not join that group if you're a pain in the butt. Like, don't. If you're not fun, if you're a stick in the mud, uh, but if you're loving, kind, sweet, please join that group. Um, you do need to fill out questions for it. Um, and if your Facebook account is less than five years old, it's going to get flagged as spam. Just email me and I'll make sure you get in. Um, and then I do have every week, I send out two emails a week with um, encouragement in there too for, for that accountability. We need that. Speaking of accountability, what is your action plan today? Tell me in the comments below what you're going to do to move you closer to your healthcare goals. And then action item number two, we do emoji down below. Um, today's emoji is going to be a pink flamingo. Ah, pink flamingo! That tells me you made it this far in the video because um, I want to get to know you better. If you like my content, I do truly care about you. And so I want to get to know you better. That's one easy way to do that. And then two, I will pray over you. When that little flamingo flashes up, I'll pray over you. If you don't believe in prayer, I will uplift you in positive thought and envelop you in love as well. So my sweet friends, make sure you go watch the next video in the series Click that like and subscribe button. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. And check out Join Fridays too down in the description link below. My sweet friends, have a great day. We'll see you later.